Yo, what up everybody, Dex Purefed CFW back again, finally bringing you guys a PS4 modding video. Now, in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you guys and actually telling you guys some updated information that everybody has been waiting for for PS4. Guys, this is 2.10 in the morning. It is exactly December 17th, 2018 guys, and I really wanted to show you guys this information and make this video before people really started blowing up on it, and I really wanted to hit on it first. Real quick, I want to thank Andrew X 2007 for hitting me up with some of these links right here they are guys but I'm just gonna go ahead and open them already cuz I already had them opened so right away guys I guess this dude called smug Nia whatever you want to call him dude has a top secret method for ps4 on 6.02 coming soon and that was on December 11th guys which was six days ago he said it's coming soon now I just read up here in some of the comments um, while there is no estimated time arrival just yet established PlayStation scene developer Seiko, whatever that is, announced on Twitter the following from embedded tweets below. So, top secret method for PS4 6.02 coming soon, followed by reminding everyone that this is not this is a method, not an exploit. It's only good for things like I guess downloading games, nothing else. And also, once it's patched, it'll be all over again. So basically, what he's saying, guys, is it's not like an actual kernel exploit. It's a method. I guess to getting free games so I guess that's pretty sweet it's top secret but they'll be getting rid of it and announcing it here soon so I guess that's pretty cool guys if you want to get free games on 6.02 it's a method I guess it's not a kernel exploit um, stay tuned for that I guess but then on the other link guys one other thing to check out which is pretty sweet and you guys everybody can do this you guys will also be able to try out some of the own web kits for your guys' PS4 now, I guess real quick, those on PlayStation form firmware above 5.05, so everybody that does not have a jailbreak, you gotta listen up. Who are curious about PS4 exploits will be pleased to hear that following his PS4 NES version 1.01 update developer Morphus 1987 is scheduled to speak at this month's 35C3 Chaos Communication Congress 2018 hacking event about exploiting PS4 video apps in order to run unsigned code regardless of the firmware version installed. Guys, that's great freaking news. That is basically what PS3 had, guys. That is a custom firmware right there. You can easily create a custom firmware with being able to run your own unsigned code regardless of the firmware which means guys it doesn't matter you could be on technically 4.55 6.35 9.21 420 I don't even know what firmware you guys every firmware will work for this freaking I guess unsigned code method through the video apps so I guess that is really 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 good to hear guys and I guess the event is on the 28th so like two days after Christmas no, three days, my bad. I'm so stupid. I don't even know what day Christmas is on. I think the 25th, 26th, maybe. I'm so sorry. That's horrible, guys. Like I said, it's 2.13 in the morning. I'm not even thinking straight right now. I just wanted to make this video. That's why I'm kind of being quiet. One and two, guys, this is coming very soon. So, guys, you might actually be able to jailbreak your PS4 on whatever firmware necessary. I guess any firmware you guys will be able to have a jailbreak. And I guess it's just due here, so I'll leave the links you guys can check out. I'll actually really leave this link because this is the more important one. But I'll also leave the top secret method to getting just free games on 6.02. From there, guys, if you're below 5.05 .05 or on that firmware, stay on it. Do not update. But everybody that's updated past, you guys, I guess there's really good news for you. Almost any firmware can run unsigned code with this Morphus's dude, I guessed exploit so that's pretty sweet guys i'll leave you guys go ahead and read down through the bottom some of these comments if you guys want to um but it's really sweet i guess he's a pretty trustworthy dude i guess in some occasions i haven't really heard of him that much um i've obviously done some back research on him and backstories on him and realized that he's not just some fake dude coming up out of the dirt and trying to make some lies up so uh, just even reading some of the comments guys i said i said it time and time again 5.05 .05 won't be the last exploited firmware yeah guys I knew that from the start I knew at some point somebody was gonna release a higher firmware exploit than just 5.05 .05. whether it was QWERTY or not somebody else easily has the brains to be able to release a higher firmware exploit it's just it's 
inevitable that somebody was going to be able to do it. This dude's saying hopefully this is one of those exploits that can actually benefit users in some way, um, meaning like, I don't know, being able to go online maybe, like actual online. He's talking about an HDMI exploit. Um, yeah, I have a full CFW and not just a hen. That would be pretty sweet. But guys, if you run your un unsigned code, if you can run unsigned code and be able to get your systems like full access of your system dude you can then create anything you guys want and run anything you want create your own code you guys can run anything you want at that basically that time so uh down in the description guys i'll have my comments i mean not my comments dude it is so freaking early in the morning i will have in my description a really well set up layout for you guys to try it out if you guys are on six I mean, yes, firmware 6.20. I'll leave a WebKit exploit. You guys can go ahead on your PS4, go to your WebKit. Oh my goodness, your web browser. Search up the URL and just hit enter, and it'll show you guys the WebKit. You you guys can check it out. It's really nothing that crazy. I just figured, you know what, Andrew kind of said if you wanted to make a video on it, go ahead. So I was like, you know what, I haven't really been posting anything in the modding scene lately because it's been dead. But guys, there's really high hopes for this. So I'll leave all the links in the description. There's no reason to make this a 10 minute video because I really already summed everything up. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry to everyone I've kind of, I guess, let down and started stepping away from the modding scene. But guys, when there is news that needs to be picked up on, I will be the freaking weatherman of modding. I might not get the top, actually I might not be the small bottom feeder nibbling away at the bottom of nothing important, but as soon as something hits the surface, baby, boom, you got yourself Dex Pure Fed CFW in the eye of the hurricane. That's what my plan is, so when something big happens, guys, that's what I'm for. I'm for the one-man mission straight in the eye of the hurricane to get the information I need. So thank you guys for watching. This is actually going to be probably dropped at 3 in the afternoon, but for me guys, it's 2 in the morning, and I haven't got to sleep yet. I'm literally just popping Molly and staying awake as much as I can. I am joking. Please don't believe me, and I really hope my mom doesn't watch this video because she would literally beat the shit out of me if she heard me say that. But uh, thank you guys for watching so much. Stay purified 24-7. Please like, comment, subscribe if this video did help you. Please don't dislike the video. I know this was kind of boring, but everything in the description below you guys can check out. It's going to be really detailed, and you guys will have no problem figuring this stuff out. So say it one more time, guys. Thank you so much. Stay purified 24-7. Can I please get 10,000 subscribers? I just was at 7,000. I'm back at 6,000, man. How did I lose 200 subscribers? It's because I quit talking about modding, guys. But you know what? Out with the old, in with the new guys. And everybody that's stuck around the entire time since day one, bro, I remember I had 200 subscribers. So I really, really love it when people say, yo, Dex, you don't remember when you had 100 subscribers? Bullcrap, man. I was counting the whole way up until I hit like 2,000. I was like, bro, there's no point in counting anymore because it's just going to keep rising. Because if I keep giving you guys what you guys want, I hope I hope in return you guys might like like my videos. You guys might turn on post notifications. If you're really OG, you might turn the post notifications on. But... In all honesty, guys, I'm not out to make anybody fail and brick anybody's consoles. I'm really out for all your guys' best interest. And if I don't make a video because what the video is going to be about really doesn't make any sense and it's not going to be, like like I said, it's just going to be me nibbling away at the bottom feeders, just picking off little bits of crap, then I'm not going to post a video. But if, like I said, I got to just freaking march through a hurricane to get this information and be one of the first ones to post it on YouTube. You better best believe it, man. I'll be giving you guys the facts. And um, that's what I think a lot of people come to my channel for is because they know I'm not giving them crap. So thank you guys again. I'm sorry I kind of just got myself carried away. Stay pure fed 24-7. I'm out. Peace.